Food insecurity is a growing problem in the United States. It's estimated that one in 10 Americans go hungry. But a local nonprofit led by students is working to change that, and they just delivered their one millionth meal. Joining us now is James Marshall, who helped start Families for Families in his driveway during COVID, and Hunter Rich, Executive Director of Families for Families. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so, so wow, one hundredth meal. That's incredible. Tell us more about Families for Families. Um, well, Families for Families uh, started in uh, my family's driveway in, back in uh, March of 2020, right when the COVID pandemic hit, and we knew there were a lot of people losing their jobs and there's going to be uh, the food and security crisis was going to get a lot worse because of COVID and uh, it really took off from there uh, the first ever food collection was in our driveway but it expanded to driveways around the area nice. and then awesome. eventually to around the country we were in like 13 states I think uh, in uh, in like the summer of 2020 but then you know once life sort of returned more to normal in September of 2020 we moved towards our student club approach which is uh, Basically, we do the food collections, except they're run by students at their schools um, with people around from around the school. And yeah. in the area right now, we have about 87 student clubs. So. Wow. <laughs> what, what was that like, though, just seeing people start to pick this up? I mean, something that you just started and now others are really involved? Well, you know, I, I think it showed, like, really the good of humanity and uh, how yeah. much people want to help in this area. Uh, and uh, that really, if you have an idea, uh, and you think it's pretty good just to act on it because uh, it grew pretty well for us and uh, I'm just thankful for everyone that that's helped along the way. Yeah, well they're thankful that you started this and, and Hunter, you also collaborate with other local nonprofits. How does that work? That's exactly right. So I think fitting into an existing framework is much more powerful than trying to create your own and there are amazing change makers throughout the city. So um, I love plugging in really unique students that are driven with these powerful local leaders. And I think that we scale from there. So we find local leaders that are making an impact. We pair them with students and we watch the amazingness that they create together. Isn't it incredible to see like young minds that are coming up with some of this and, and just building something that's so important, seeing a need and building something. It has you been the most incredible experience of my life watching, you know, like we as adults can talk about 10 reasons why something may or may not work and right. students will take the first idea and run with it. Like they just want to create the world that they want to live in. Mm. Um, and rather than come up with excuses why it might not work, they just act and they do and they give it's learn a lot wow. from these young folks. Absolutely, <laughs> that yeah. is amazing. Um, now, what's the best way to start a collection? So for anyone listening, they're mm -hmm. thinking, oh, that, uh, maybe I want to do this. How, how can they start that? Yeah, I would love, you can go to familiesforfamilies.org and um, right on our homepage, the, the first thing that comes up is start a student club. So we take care of the rest from there. We get you mm -hmm. partnered with a local nonprofit that you vibe with. Um, and we take care of the rest. So Great we leadership love leadership skills too. Yeah, yeah, yeah amazing. We're trying to get to 200 clubs by the end of 2025 so we can deliver 1 million meals every single year. Wow. What was it like, James, to hit the 1 millionth meal? <laughs> That's uh, it, something. It, 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 wow. It's been pretty cool to put like an actual number to all the stuff yeah. we've been doing over the years. And uh, I don't really know how we like calculated everything because it's been also <laughs> sort of all over the place with uh, with all the stuff since 2020. Right. But it, it's really cool now, and uh, it's cool to be able to advertise that number, and it, it can help us grow even more than we have before. So. And you're looking for some student leaders, so what are yeah. you looking for? Who, what type of students are you looking? Well, for? I, I'm looking for someone who uh, is really driven and passionate because it, it doesn't work unless you uh, really buy totally buy into right. the idea. Uh, someone who's really selfless, cares about others, but someone who's able to uh, delegate uh, roles and opportunities to others and uh, not take it all on themselves and sort of like uh, okay. delegate right. it out that yeah. way. So, yeah. James Hunter, thank you so much. This has been yeah. great. Congrats. Thank you so it's much. amazing. Thank you. thank you. For more information on how you can help Families for Families, or better yet, get your kids involved, head to familiesforfamilies.org.